All right, Mike's back over here and he's working on his uh, Baron again. Yep. I think he's half done. I wasn't able to catch up with him over here. Would you? Would you get done, buddy? Well, first side is done. Show show everybody what you did, cause they keep saying, well, you have to extend the Baron, but oh, well, there's a little more to it than that. Okay, well, let me explain explain the problem first. The problem is that we don't want the bearing shell to rotate on on the crankshaft, so we want the bearing shell to always rotate with this aluminum block, right? So the shims that will ultimately be installed will extend from the outside all the way practically touching the uh, the crankshaft journal. Now, they will uh, prevent the uh, bearing shells from rotating like this in the holder, but you also don't want the bearing shell to slide in this direction. That's what they don't understand. They all, they all think that the right. shims were going to work. This will stay right on the journal because of these radiuses that we've cut here will uh, match the radii that are on the uh, crankshaft journal. But if this thing, if this aluminum block travels either way on this uh, bearing shell, it's going to run into the side of the uh, crank throw. We don't want that. So we got to pin it a certain way so it doesn't move. And that's what I've done here. I've milled a, a small channel here and a small notch in the bearing. That's going to sit like that. Each, each bearing shell is going to have one. And then I've got a small pin right here that I can just drop in. It's kind of kind of a little fiddly it's operation. It's right. tight. Well, yeah. It's, but you drop that pin in there. press that in and then the bearing shell mates up with it you could tap that in there like that and then once you tap that in it'll, it'll be flush with the top of the uh, the top of the shell here once I tap that in all the way and that'll prevent the bearing shell from traveling in this direction right and luckily you only have to make two one, one for each side right right yeah one for each side will do it that's all it takes to do that, so. Yeah, it's, it's a pretty tight little fit, which is good. And then to get it out, you just press on the bearing and lift it up or go the other way. There you go, and there slip it slides is. right out. There okay. it is. So I'm going to do the identical operation to this one here after I file and uh, scrape the bearing for for a better fit. So that's... All right, we'll, uh, we'll see if we can catch him when he's doing that. Okay. You're moving pretty fast tonight, Mike. <laughs> All right, see if we can get in uh, over Mike's shoulder here. See what he's doing. Let's zoom in. Here. Pretty good, buddy. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. What's doing now, buddy? Well, I got my second pin here. As you can see, I'm just rounding off the edges so that I can get as much surface area of the pin and the bearing as possible. You know, because the end mill makes a rounded, a rounded slot. So I want to make my pins around it also to pop right. in there. So these little stone on the Dremel to round them out a little bit works out pretty well. So yeah, sorry I had to yell, buddy. We got a lot, a lot going on here. We got a little racer over there. He's working on a Maytag and a little dirt bike. I don't know what the hell he's doing. What are you doing over here, buddy? Oh, I'm making a uh, stepper motor. Yeah. Hooking up this computer, make it run, make it's that a, thing turn. It's a dynamometer, remember last time? Uh huh. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> and then Daddy Dirt Blake, I don't know what he's ruining over here. He's making himself a windmill. Wind generator, yep. Wind generator. And blind John over there, he's watching him, keeping an eye, keeping his eye on him. Alright, Mike's going home for the evening. He's only been here a couple of hours and everything, but uh, he's got to get up again early tomorrow morning but uh, he got both of these done he left this one in let's see oh wait there we go make sure the lights on now he just uh, he's got to file that one flush and that'll be done 
And here's the other one over here. Where'd it go? Right here. He's got the pin sitting out. And it goes in there. So that's it. He didn't get a whole lot done, but uh, that there took a lot of time. Now, the rest of the rest should go a lot, a lot smoother. But uh, that's it for now. All right. See you guys later.